iVow. So if you watched our video about the heartbeat and how the ceremony is the heartbeat of the film, you heard me go on and on and on and on and on and on and on about the vows. Um, vows are not just vows. They're not just words. They're not just this you know, emotional declaration that you're going to deliver in front of your uh, friends, family, and guests, and coworkers, and everybody in between. They, are, they become the narrative for the film. Um, they become this great picture that you paint of each other about how you met, how, you know, what that moment was where, where you knew that, that she was the one, that he was the one. You're putting a lot of thought into these words. You know, these aren't just words. These are true declarations of your love for one another. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of thought. There's a lot of meaning. There's a lot of depth behind that. We want to use those words as a strength for the day uh, and, and really paint this picture with that as a narrative over your film. And if you are not comfortable, um, saying vows up front, you know, there at the altar, or you know yourself obviously better than we do, and you think, I'm an emotional person, I will cry, I will be a wreck, I will not be able to get through it, fine. We always encourage our couples to write personalized letters to one another. And by personal letters, I'm not talking about a quick card like, hey babe, can't wait to see you today, can't believe we're getting married. I'm talking about some an actual replacement for vows. Something that would have, you know, maybe a paragraph or so talking about your relationship and you know can't, you can't believe that this day has finally come and how much it means to you. Essentially, your vows, but just read during the prep. So we can get some really great audio. It's the same meaning, the same depth, the same emotion, uh, just read at a different time. So we can still use that as a narrative over your film. We've done that for a handful of couples that just said, you know what, I'm gonna take your advice but uh, we want to do vows, but we want to do them you know, ahead of time. And it's worked out great. And I'm going to be a little selfish here and say that vows are awesome for us. Uh, when we use them for the film, it makes your film and day and experience and edit so personal that it is, is truly irreplaceable. And you, you can't just insert one couple here, insert one couple there, because you have different vows, different meanings, different stories, different walks of life. And we're able to to really extract that and leverage that as a as this gigantic strength for your edit. Um, so I cannot say it enough. It's awesome for us being a little selfish, being a little biased because we are able to use that audio, but um, highly encourage you to really get lost in the meaning and, and thought of writing your vows too. Hopefully you put some thought and meaning into who you're choosing as a partner. So put some thought and meaning into uh, your vows and what you're gonna be saying to that person. So. That's our take on vows. Obviously, if you can write them and say them up there, fantastic. Uh, if you're a little bit too nervous or, or if your church does not allow it, definitely highly recommend um, reading personalized letters, not cards, letters to one another um, and reciting those so we can use that as a narrative for your film. So that's our take on I vow.